Hello everyone, welcome back. So, in one of our session, we have seen how to handle the shadow dome elements by using Selenium WebDriver, right? So, we have seen how to really inspect the elements inside the shadow host what is the shadow root and then if it is open how do you really handle it if it is it is a closed shadow root then how you will handle it we have seen all those different types right so just to quickly recap so let me first go to the application so here you can see there is a open shadow and there are two different types of closed shadow we have seen right one closed shadow with having a reference which you can identify from the inspect element and to the javascript there could be another closed win shadow where there is no reference you cannot really automate that you have to talk to your developer to give a reference or else they have to make it as open shadow so that you can automate those controls and now on the coding perspective if you would have seen that if it is a simple like open shadow then you can just call the shadow root dot shadow root by using the javascript executor you can get that particular element and then you can go as usual dot find element uh, stuff if it is closed the shadow with a reference like let's say that the reference is uh, underscore root then you can just put it here dot underscore root so this is what two types we have seen now what happened actually so this particular code were executing properly when we were using the chrome browser that is less than 96 version okay whether it is chromium basically it is chromium not just chrome but now what happened after 96 version this is not working fine let me show you that so this is the same code base which we have seen okay it was perfectly working fine but now let me run this and i hope this is the one okay now let me run this particular test and let's see if it is working fine or not and as you can see it didn't really enter the text into the shadow text box but then rather it gave you a kind of exception now let's see what is that exception and if you see the exception says that a class cached exception where it is telling that the shadow root cannot be cached to a web element okay so it is saying that you cannot cast the shadow root. See, basically it's a shadow root, right? It's not really a web element. That actually we were converting to a web element. If you see into this JavaScript here, we were, so this is basically the shadow root element, which is the JavaScript's default. And we were simply casting that to a web element so that the Selenium can understand this and then we can act on this. Like we can say dot find element, you see that we got the get shadow root now this is my element now on this element i can find all the children elements of that particular shadow root but at this moment it is not able to cast it the reason is that after 96 version of the chrome they are not really uh, able to send that particular shadow root which can be converted into web element so it is a unknown format so the selenium also could not able to understand that this shadow root can be one of the web element okay but uh, what is happening the shadow root implementation of the javascript basically is inheriting the search context now what is search context so if you see that the web elements parent class is nothing but search context so web element is a child of your search context so if you see into the java into the selenium documentation at the top you will see the search context okay i will i will share that particular link into this so that you can refer it so that was the problem actually uh, which uh, it's not exactly a problem but it's the way that they have implemented it now what do we do now we are casting to web element it's not working but then shadow root is implementing the search context right so why not we can convert this web element to a search context and then on search context we can do the find element because now web element is also inheriting the search context right now shadow root and web element both are sharing that uh, what you call the search context so i can really cast this particular web element to a search context and i can do that now to implement that let me just copy paste the same test code so here i will be doing this and then let me write a new test method 
and here I will say underscore search context so I will write like this so search context fine now here I need to do a bit of change actually now what is that change now if you see here this get adder root right what am I sending a string now this string is basically going to here and this is going sadder root so as I said the sadder root is implementing the search context it means that I can cast this one to search context now just to give a backup I will not be overriding that but instead of that I will be keeping a new method and here I will put this as sc that is nothing but the search context now this one I will be calling here okay now when I call this for sure here I won't be taking this as web element instead of that I will take it as a search context here okay search context the same thing if I'm taking for a closed shadow dome let's say that if you have a closed one then you can just cast it now because I'm casting to search context my return type has to be search context also and now here it will throw error see now I have changed the existing method to search context right it means that wherever I'm calling this particular get shadow root underscore sc I have to change that to do search context also so let's do that okay now see it won't throw any error actually because as I told the search context do have an implementation of find element okay so that is the benefit we are getting okay so the same thing I will be changing this search context to here as well okay because this is my closed one right and after that uh, yeah everything is fine there is no issues with that now let's see see there is not much difference I did this gets adder root okay here I need to make it as underscore sc so that it will give me the exact adder root okay sorry the search context it will give me and then these things whatever you are doing these are very natural I mean you need not to change anything now let's see if this particular code base is working fine or not and as you can see the open shadow worked and the closed shadow is also working with the new implementation actually and my chrome browser if you see this this chrome browser is actually more than uh, where is that okay this is my other browser now if you see this uh, help and then if you go to about you can see it is more than 96 browser version that is 102 so it means that now whatever the changes the chrome has done internally now that is working fine with my code change here so the simple con uh, concept is that uh, i am casting this shadow root to such context instead of the web element that is the change i'm doing yes so this is fair enough now this is uh, this is helpful if you have an existing test cases let's say that um, you are using 3.141 let's say that uh, because set in real time uh, code basis maybe your organization is not yet ready to update to selenium 4 version that time it is very helpful to have this approach actually because uh, you would have written a one utility method where you just need to change this many things only and after that you just need to change the web element to search context the other implementation your business logic will really not change anything see that is again another benefit of having utility method instead of you will be rewriting the same stuff here okay so the, there are two things one is if you are using 3.141 or which is less than selenium 4 version you can utilize this particular logic so with minimal changes you can achieve the shadow dome issue but so there is a recommendation from selenium because the selenium 4 is uh, now implemented the w3c standard and all of our browser drivers are also into the w3c standard so they're recommending to update it into the selenium 4 still it will work so if you are changing to selenium 4 as well this code will definitely work like as you can see the pom.xml i am using the 4.1.0 now it is already 4.2.0 is also came couple of days back but then you can use any version after 4.1.0 fine 
now because of these things now selenium has given one inbuilt method actually if you are using selenium 4 and above they are giving you an inbuilt method where you don't need to really worry about casting i mean using this javascript executor and then take this as a return type and use it here let me show you that so what i will do i will copy this one and then i will be taking this one and instead of this here i will say uh, maybe let's say that selenium 4 okay i'm saying that shadow test underscore selenium 4 now let's see what are the different changes i need to do see one simple thing is that first i need to identify this particular element actually this shadow host so if i go here right click and inspect Sorry. so this was actually from the driver instance let me close it and open this one and inspect now you see that this is actually my open component actually here you see this this is my the parent element after that i'm going to the shadow root which is the javascript i'm using now let's try to take this particular input tag or this particular tag and try to identify that so what am i going to do let me delete all these things and here uh, such context element equal to i won't be writing now this line of code because as i said selenium already giving me an element right one method but before to that i have to first identify this particular my open component right see this one i am really doing that by using the javascript here if you see this this javascript i am doing so i will have to identify that element here itself so i will be deleting this particular line so let me just delete this entire thing so shift and then here i will say driver dot find element by dot css selector and then i will say my open component that is nothing but this one so copy this one and then you paste it here now after that what i was doing i was doing the dot shadow root right which is a javascript property actually but selenium 4 gave me one more option actually or that is a method that is nothing but get shadow root and this one you will be getting when you have updated your dependencies to 4 and above so i'm giving now let's see what is the return type of this and if you see the return type is search context that's why i have given the where the type of this particular element as a search context now the rest everything will remain same let me delete this line of code and you can see element dot find element and after that whatever the text box i have underneath this shadow root i can enter some text there is a catch though so this get get shadow root is implemented in such a way it will only handle your open shadow dome elements only it won't handle your closed components like there is this particular input is there right so the tag is there under that so if i go to this particular thing you see that this is my open shadow this is my closed shadow though there is a reference attached to this one i cannot use the get shadow root inbuilt method which the selenium is giving and then i cannot enter the reason is that this particular closed shadow is very much dependent to your application implementation some might have given this as underscore root some might have given let's say that underscore google root or something so selenium might not be able to handle that because that is helping me if you see here i'm giving this instead of shadow root i'm giving that particular reference actually and this is basically coming from your application javascript so selenium do know right what it is or maybe in future selenium might say that okay now you give me this closed shadow root uh, what you call this reference and i can implement it but yes at this moment that is not available as i have experimented uh, myself it is only handling the open shadow elements only for closed shadow you can continue as it is like for an instance the shadow root underscore sc i am using as usual my like the before way which i've just shown that the first approach and you can continue if your if your shadow dome elements are closed okay fine now let's try to execute this particular code now let me run this
and as you can see the open worked the closed as well worked so it means that we have taken an hybrid approach actually the selenium selenium 4 own get sadder root for open sadder dome elements and this is our own implementation for the closed sadder dome it is that simple actually so there is nothing much really to worry about like if my existing test cases can i really update it or not the simple concepts you need to understand and have the minimal changes into your test cases and then you are done with that okay okay so that's pretty much it from uh, this particular session so hope this is helpful stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel you will be seeing a lot of uh, interesting topics on selenium Thank you for watching.